So this cylinder dates back to the year 2000. At that time, uh, Sean Blim and Jimmy Iverson of AIM Racing were campaigning a Honda, which I had built, that used a Polanda cylinder that we had built, which was a 440 cc, and it had done really good. But at that point, other big cylinders started coming out, and um, they were faster. So the idea uh, came about of why don't we do a big bore billet cylinder and do it in a 500? And um, uh, they were willing to put up the money for it. We found Dustin at Dustin's Advanced Two Stroke, who had the CNC machine. This is before Mike and I were uh, actively, Mike from Mod Quad and I were actively involved in doing a lot of CNC projects. So I had done the design work on this, uh, basically spec'd out what I wanted for it, port timings, the intake, um, the way that the head would be designed. And Dustin took that and built this. Um, there was three of them built. One of them was on a bike that was stolen, and to my knowledge, that was never found. Um, one of them, Sean Blim from AIM Racing still owns. It's on a shelf somewhere, and the third one is here. Um, so let's get back to how this thing ran uh, super poorly. Matter of fact, it, it didn't run as fast as our 440 did. Um, it was a big disappointment all the way around. Now. If I did it again today, could I do it better? Yeah, 100%. Could be done way, way better. I understand so much more about how these things make power now than I did back then that, yeah, um, today I could succeed. But then that asks the question, why? I already have, um, well, I'm going to call her a best friend, Elaine Paulette who casts cylinders, and because of my because of my involvement with her, um, I can literally call up CP Industries at any time and get a cylinder in production, as long as I'm willing to do the prototyping. So there are certain things that are much easier to accomplish organic shapes in casting than they are in CNC machining. Now, there are some ways around that with today's technology, but honestly, when I can call up the um, most race winningest cylinder manufacturer in the United States um, and get something in processing, then there's, there's absolutely no reason to do it. it. It would just be a waste of time. So the future of it, well, it was brought out just to show you that it was done. It wasn't very successful. And now it goes back on the shelf. And I continue what I'm doing with Elaine Paulette from CP Industries to bring you guys the fastest, best, most reliable cylinders money can buy. Thank you.